A UCF student bitten by a shark along New Smyrna Beach is walking again. Yeah, that's some great news. You can see some video right there. Well, multiple tendons were severed in his foot and a tooth was even lodged in his bone. Fox 35 Stephanie Buffmonte updates us on how he's doing tonight. The Iron Oak Post is full of love and support tonight for a UCF student who was bitten by a shark a couple of months ago and is finally back on his feet. Me and my mom were just talking the other night and she was saying it could have been a very different birthday. And that kind of really hit me hard because I was like, I could, there's a chance I couldn't have been here right now. Chris Pospisil has a lot to be thankful for on his 22nd birthday. It was just two months ago when a shark bit his foot while surfing in New Smyrna Beach. I didn't want to look at it. You know, I didn't want to like freak out, so I didn't look at it, but I thought my foot might have been gone because of how, how hard it bit me. He severed seven tendons. The shark tooth was lodged in his bone. His mom still remembers seeing his mangled foot that day. I saw it and I lost it. I thought he was going to die. Chris had emergency surgery, recovered in the hospital, and is finally able to walk on his foot again, just in time for his birthday. His loved ones threw a fundraiser for him Saturday to help with medical bills. Live music, a raffle, all to celebrate his life, a life that could have been taken. There's been a lot of ups and downs, you know, some days where I'm kind of just depressed and, you know, I'm, I'm anxious to get back in the water and, you know, go out and live a normal life again. But and then when I have people come around me and, and visit me and stuff like that, it's, it makes it means the world. He will be back in the ocean again. It's really important to me that people understand that you can't really live your life by fear. If you love doing something, it's important to do it. And Chris, with a smile on his face, is ready to get back on his board and in the water with the best friend who carried him to shore that day. I actually feel safer now, you know, because he, he saved my life. We've never wanted it to happen, but it's definitely something we'll be laughing at in the future. Telling our kids about Telling it. Telling our kids. Chris just started walking on that foot again, so it will be several months before he can get back to surfing as he goes through physical therapy and recovery. He plans to graduate from UCF in the spring and hopes to join the military when he recovers. Reporting in Melbourne, Stephanie Buffmonte, Fox 35 News.